Right, so welcome back. In today's video, I want to make a comparison between the command line uh, interfaces on Windows and on Linux or Unix based systems. Let me make a comparison between the command line interface and the graphical user interface. So right now, when you're looking at my computer, I'm on my desktop. Uh, this is a graphical user interface. Uh, we have graphics. You can see there are icons. There's a cursor here. If I want to navigate to a certain location, I can just double click or right click and open and, and I can go to that location. If I want to open an application, I can just double click or right click and open it. Uh, this is easy. This is the way that we used to when you're using our laptops or our computers or our devices. Um, however, there's another way uh, that we can use or navigate our system and use our computers, which is using the command line interface. And so this is what we're going to look at today. So in today's tutorial, we're looking at Windows and Linux, Linux or Unix based systems. So uh, the first thing is knowing your commands. Uh, if you know your commands, then this will not be something intimidating. Uh, but yeah, of course, I understand most people don't even touch this thing, uh, this terminal. It's, it's something that is uh, foreign to them because they are used to the graphical user interface. It's, it's good to know the, the graphical user interface, knowing how to click open stuff and stuff like that. But when you master this, the command line interface, you make impossible stuff possible. That's what they say. All right, so let's make a few comparison um, on commands that we can use on the command prompt or in the Linux terminal. I've, I've divided my screen into two. Uh, the right side is for the Windows, uh, and then the left side is for the Linux terminal or Unix-based terminal. Um, what I did was uh, originally um, my computer came with Windows. Uh, it runs on Windows, but I had to install Windows subsystem for Linux so that I can have access to uh, the Linux terminal so I can enter Linux commands. All right, so the first thing you need to know when you are using uh, a, a terminal like this, you need to know where you are because uh, it's easier when I'm using a graphical user interface, right? I know I'm on, on my desktop right now. If I open any folder, I know where I am. I know how to navigate to go back and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a different story when you get to uh, a terminal like this. This is text-based, nothing to click here. There are no icons to show you where you are or to show you the kind of program that you, you want to open and stuff like that. Yeah. So the first thing that you need to know is knowing where you are. So in Windows, if you want to know where you are, um, you use the command CD. Of course, this CD, you can use it for different purposes as well, but you can also use it to check where you are. Uh, on the file system. Um, you need to understand how your computer is organized. Your computer is organized in a file system structure, which we call the, the file system or the file explorer on Windows. It's more like a tree, uh, starting from the root and then branching all the way downwards uh, to different folders and, and files and stuff like that. And so currently uh, on Windows, Windows gives me a clue of where I am. Uh, you can see right here, it says C and then backward slash users, backward slash Satsun. And so I have an idea of where I am. I'm inside users and inside Satsun and I'm in my C drive. So the good thing about Windows is you can partition a drive into different partitions. Like you can have a C uh, drive, you can have a D drive, you can have an E drive, F drive, etc. depending on how you have partitioned your computer. And so in each partition, you can have this file system starting from the root, going all the way to, you know, to the leaves, to the end, you know, of uh, your system. And so currently, if I CD, uh, CD means change directory. But in this instance, when you just enter CD without specifying uh, a path on your Windows computer in, in the command prompt, then it gives you where you are, the location uh, where you are working from. Now on so, Linux, if you want to know where you are, uh, you want to know where you're working from. Of course, you don't have any clue here with this. Uh, this is the username. This is the computer name. So it says username at computer name. So you have to write PWD, which is print working directory. If I press enter right now, you can see I have this path here. This is an absolute path, by the way. Similar to this, it's an, it's an absolute path. It's starting from the root of the file system. Uh, however, you should notice something different here. Here we're using forward slashes in the Linux terminal, but in, in the command prompt in Windows, we're using backward slashes. 
this should ring a bell in your mind. And so um, PWD, print the working directory, you know where you are now. If you see D on Windows, you know where you are now. Uh, you're good to go. So PWD and CD, they do the same thing. Uh, of course, you know, we're using different systems here. In Windows CD, uh, if you don't provide a path, it simply means print the working directory. Linux, if you write PWD, you're printing the working directory. So let me try CD here. Let's see whether it works. It doesn't do anything. Let me try PWD here. Uh, you see, it, it, it's not recognized. So they, they are different systems. They use different commands. So the equivalent of PWD on a Windows computer is a CD. Uh, it, of course, it has other meanings, you know, if you provide a path to it. All right. Uh, the next thing uh, you want to do is you want to know how to clear stuff. You can use CLS in Windows here. It clears that. And in Linux, you, you can write clear. If I try to write CLS here, uh, it's not found that command. If I try to write clear here, that command will not work. So on Windows, it's CLS to clear that screen. Uh, on Linux, it's clear. We have cleared that. All right, so the last command that I want to talk about is listing the files or the contents of uh, your current folder or any other folder for that purpose. Um, you know, if you are using the GUI, the graphical user interface, it's easy to see what files you have. I can see here, I have quite a lot of things here. But if you're using um, a, a terminal like this, you cannot tell. So you need to know the command to list the files. So in, in Linux, it's easy. Uh, you, we use ls, which is short for listing. If you do not provide a path, is going to list the contents of the current directory, you know, the current location where you are. So if I ls right now and press enter, you can see uh, the file that I have inside uh, Setson. So this is what I have inside Setson. Uh, so let me clear that. Um, yeah, on Windows, if you want to list the files in the current directory, you use the dir. Uh, of course, if you do not provide a path, if you provide some kind of a path, it's going to list the contents of that particular directory which you provided the path for. But if you just write the without providing the path, it's, you know, you, you're asking it to list the contents of the current uh, directory that you are in. So if I press enter right now, you can see the list of files that I have in this particular uh, directory. Please leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in our next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye. Uh,